bio. Did you start it? Yeah. That was the plan all along. All right, see? Can you see him? It's a noisy pixel giveaway. What's going on, nerds? Mark here, and guess what? We are back with another PC build, and we got my man Jose behind the camera because that's who was here last time doing these videos. Today's build is primarily a Cooler Master build. Mostly it's going to be a black and white build. The case is white, and to start it off, we have the Master Box TD500 mesh. I'm pretty hyped about this. It's not like a typical case I would get just because of the size. I usually go for a much larger case. I'm pretty hyped for the compactness and the RGB lighting should light up the whole interior. And next we have the PL240 Flux RGB cooler, double fan radiator. I'm definitely gonna give you guys impressions of all the product here, especially the RGB Cooler Master products that we have here because that's the main part of the build. We have the XG Plus 750 RGB Platinum 750 watt Cooler Master power supply. I think RGB power supplies are probably gonna be more prominent in the market. It's not typically something I would go for, but hey, you know, if they're promoting it, I'm here for it. But they actually have this some sort of display on the side, which I've never seen before. So I'm pretty hyped to have that in the computer. And to finalize it, we have a Cooler Master keyboard in the house. The CK721 fully Bluetooth wireless. Not a full size keyboard, but it does actually look pretty spicy. I like the knob on the top right, and I also like the wrist pad. Can never get enough wrist pads in general. Being the price of these graphics cards right now, I just wasn't feeling getting a new one, but I just had to do it. Brand new everything, why not just get a graphics card? I actually just picked it up for 429 USD, so just to be completely transparent about that. Anyway, we have a mild build, nothing crazy, but actually a pretty nice, a pretty nice setup. We have an i5, brand new, what is it, 12th gen? I don't even know anymore. How many generations are we at right now? 12th gen, 12th it's gen 12th i5. gen. Chipset of a LGA 1700, or um, not chipset, what's the word? It is socket type, LGA 1700. We have a Cooler Master mouse that I've already had and we are primarily using M.2 storage. Um, that's pretty much it. We also all love the Z690 um, Asus or just Asus motherboards in general. Gotta love that lifetime warranty, even though it comes broken. Lastly, we have Mark. We have Joe in the house Joe right now. Joe is here right yeah. now. Hold on, hold on. This is perfect. This is perfect. This Get her right here. I'm right Time here. here. Look at this. <laughs> Joe is in the house. Joe is going to be helping us with this video. Thank you, Joe. You caught us right in the middle of the uh, intro. Look at all the goodies. Perfect. But anyway, let's get right into the build. Keep watching. That can bring a grown man to tears. Cable is actually cute. Mm. This seems like it has room on top. Like if you look at the top side, there's a little bevel here for the screws. Oh to really? Into. Oh, yeah, well, like, oh that's even on better. On the top, and that's even better. All right, so we're only like 15 minutes into the build, and the boys have gotten to work. Things are happening pretty fast. So it's a magnetic hub. That's really cool. So that can be right in the back of the. Well, obviously not there. But when you put it in the back of the case. Well, this is for the AOI. I'm not sure what this is 100%. Oh, it's the uh, pin hub. So it has all the slots to put the pins on it. On the other side, so we power it. It's, it's super it's, nice and polished. Yeah, it's clean. Now that's RGB. Yeah. It goes with the polished aesthetic of the motherboard, which is super nice. Okay, remove. Does it have paste? No, oh. I don't think it has any stock paste. It even came with some. Oh. Cooler Master, right? Cooler, Cooler Master. Master. Okay. Nice up. They even gave us a little pasties. Now are you a P? guy or are you a, a x guy i like the x method oh I'm, I'm a p guy we're trying to see if it comes with any kind of controller hub for the it does that's oh beautiful. that is so i big. think it's only a three pin i mean a e oh it's only a single pin but that's still better than nothing that's still better than nothing all the others we could control the lights but this is for the rgb so it's got to control to the sync everything yeah. up yeah it's a nice two stack Look at that architecture. See that? It looks right out of Halo. Uh, that is, yeah, the oracles. That's what it reminds me of. The architectural aesthetic on the glass, which is actually really nice. I didn't notice that till now. Four. So this is for the AIO, and it's really nice. You have the room in here. They account for the room for the case, so you can at least tuck it in so it's not, you're not going to have any bulge in the back, which is super cool. Are we going to do it like this? Well, if it's going to be on top, remember these hoses can pivot. Yeah. Oh, they can't. Put it like that? Like uh -huh. mock it up? So like you can at least, oh, yay. Oh, I like that, designed by Cooler Master. But I hate this cable. This cable, I hate it. 
in every computer. Yeah, they all these, suck, dude. These suck. Why aren't they together? Why aren't they like this? We land rovers on Mars, and we can't figure out how to make cables like... Sometimes they give you like a thing where you can put it in before you put it in. What do you mean? I actually like how the case says 3.0. Badge of honor. Yeah. Oh, we just ripped oh, it off. I, uh, I forgot. It's okay, I captured it. So what is the purpose of this video, you may ask? There is none. You thought wrong. Ready? Plugged in. You're gonna get that boy right in there. Wait, where, where is it? So your nerds may be asking, Mark, why aren't you building your own PC? Well, who's to say this is even mine? That's where I got you. It's a noisy pixel giveaway. Stay subscribed. <laughs> He's completely lying. You're not touching this PC. It's mine! We're just gonna jump to time lapse because we're hot. AC time, time lapse time. Here we go. So we ran into an issue There's with the cooler. Issue. I mean, it's a clearance issue to be clear. Get this guy out of here. <laughs> Basically, our intentions were to mount the AIO rad and fans on the top of the case. Unfortunately, our fancy RAM is blocking the fans or hitting the top of the RAM stick. So you can't just take it out either. Yeah. That's going to be the issue. Like, so we're going to have to mount it in the front. We'll have a double intake and then we're going to have to get more fans for the top. And that's really it. I recently flipped the cooler head. The radiator cannot be mounted without doing that, or we're trying that first. We're having trouble fitting the radiator in this PC. Well, the RAM is not helping this, the situation. It is a Cooler Master case, so I can guarantee any Cooler Master product would work with it, but obviously... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. The RAM is not okay, Cooler okay. Master. Well, Joe wire manages, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox the newly featured CK721 wireless Bluetooth Cooler Master Keyboard. First look. Manuals. It's going to be a complex manual because they... <laughs> wow, is it nice? the foam. It's foamy. They know how to make... Let me touch it. Yo. Not bad, right? Yeah. Ooh, look are at this. Just... The keys are. They're okay. They're... How much is this? How much is this retailing for? It retails for 120 Yo, no carpal tunnels. <laughs> and it's wireless. It has the stands. Bluetooth. Okay. It's, it's got the kickstands. Yeah, it's like universal. USB. Wait, so there's a hub? Oh. So is there like a USB? Like a dongy? Like a dongle. That's the best question always for me. If I'm correct, a dongle should be around here. Could be oh, wrong. look, it comes with keycap removers. Mechanical red switches. Oh, I found the dongle inside the keyboard. Yes, I found the dongle. <laughs> I still mess with the knob. The knob is where it's at. What are you doing over there? I'm taking my shoes off. Oh. I need more mobility. <laughs> <laughs> so with this. It reminds me of like one of those Tempur-Pedic covers. Yeah, cover. look at your wrist, like where it's placed. Look, I even have a watch on and it doesn't hurt for gaming. We're not wearing a watch now, are we? Yeah, we are. Because I gotta check how many seconds it takes me to destroy every enemy. Ayo. Hey, oh, look at that shine right there. It's just so small and slick. I love small keyboards. And it just it looks fine. I give it credit for its nice minimalistic design. Yeah, exactly. Very uh, low profile. So it doesn't like spit gaming fanciness out at you. How do you feel about the price point? It's competitive. Yes. You've got a lot of good 65s up there, like the Ducky 1, 2 Mini, the Anno. Um, they're both Hyper X. They're and all like Razor. dongle and uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, which right? is super good. Well, those are wired. Oh, they're, they're all wired. Yeah, so that's okay. a plus that's wireless. That's all your preference, though. Yeah, 100%. That's all your preference. Three fans. We're going to need one here. Fans over here. I'm feeling how this back panel here has this like negative space. I feel like that's not too common. All right, so we're like two hours into this build. I feel like time went extremely fast, but we're actually hooking up the pins and the motherboard. Everything's kind of plugged in. It has to be that way. It has to be that way. But yeah, we just got to plug in the GPU and that's it. Ah, we did it, boys. We assembled it. We don't know if it works. Don't forget about this, all right? What is that, man? What is that? So this is it. We're turning on the PC. It's all together. 
and it's time. Do it with your foot. <laughs> hey, nothing's on. Oh. And here we are, welcome back. As you can see, I have different clothes on. You know why? Because it is actually a different day. And you know why it's a different day? We ran into some complications. We had a delay with the power supply, but it's all good. We're putting these fans in. There's no fans on the radiator. In order to make sure we can put everything in, we put the radiator over here. We're gonna put two fans right here. And what he's working on is putting the Halo series from Cooler Master. Um, so we picked up some three fans from Cooler Master to finish off this RGB build. And we are using a splitter provided from Cooler Master to make sure everything hooks up properly in RGB. Can I get a screwdriver, please? Featuring my laundry in the back. And some chips. In my uh, bed. We need to refuel ourselves as gamers. Time for the fans? Time for a screwdriver. So we're going to put these fans in and we'll be right back. Cooler Master ecosystem kept a smile on my face throughout the experience. Personally, I'm more of a CPU fan guy, but if you want style over simplicity, you can't go wrong with the PL240 Flux. It's just more to deal with on installation, especially without a full-size case, which leads me into the Masterbox TD500 mesh. I like more space, but god dang, this case is sexy and looks gamer ready. The LED shines brightly and the stylized front just gives me nostalgia. It did provide trouble fitting the 240mm liquid cooler if you are using RGB RAM due to the extra height of the RAM. If you aren't picky about case space, the TD500 is so nice and accommodating. I can do without the power supply cover, although it highlights the XG Plus 750 Platinum beautifully with the side cutout. This power supply is a bit pricey, but it is a need if you are an RGB freak, as it offers customizable display options in any RGB style you want. It's just the right RGB touch that your best friend probably doesn't have. Thank you Cooler Master for sending out the product, you guys get a thumbs up. And that's it for the build video everyone. Noisy Pixel is a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. See ya nerds.